The final chapter of this epic saga opens with a standoff between Null and the Silver Surfer. The Silver Surfer transforms his board into a sword and prepares to fight against the God of Darkness. In a way, I admire you, little knight. You will die a noble death. Perhaps, but I shall not face it alone. Avengers! Assemble. And with those words, an army of heroes, now free from their symbiotic prisons, charge into battle against Null. But before they can throw even one punch, Eddie arrives triumphantly. Null seems unfazed by his challenger. The great god of light has chosen a host that I've killed. How many times now? Is this meant to scare me? Eddie then effortlessly summons both Mjolnir and the Silver Surfer's blade, and then fuses them together to form a powerful battle axe, and launches into battle. Null flees as Venom flies after him. Null tries to hide behind his dragons, but Venom fights them off, slashing them to pieces with his battle axe. Null tries to stab Venom in the back while he is occupied, but Venom easily catches Null's blade in his hand. No, no more swords, no more dragons, just you and me. Venom throws Null to the ground, but before he can deal the final blow, he is interrupted by one of Null's Celestials. The Celestial is only a brief distraction as Venom flies up to meet it and decapitates the monster. Venom now has Null by the throat and dangles him from the top of a skyscraper. I remember when you dragged me up here from the sewers. All the pain, the fear, the agony, as you ripped my other from me. Venom then raises his battle axe to the sky and buries it into Null's chest. I remember it all. Venom rips the axe from Null's chest, pulling the symbiote from his body at the same time, leaving Null's bare carcass exposed. But do you know what I remember the most? I remember feeling hopeless, helpless. I remember falling. And with those words, Venom drops Null from the top of the skyscraper. Null crashes to the ground, and Venom demands that he get back up. We aren't done. You may kill me, but the darkness that lives in your son. Venom picks up Null and flies him out of the city, but he doesn't stop there. Venom flies Null directly towards the sun, and then plunges his enemy into the ball of fire. This is for Dylan. Null disintegrates into nothingness, turned to ash by the sun's heat. Eddie returns to Earth where Thor and the Silver Surfer have regained their iconic weapons, and all the symbiotic matter is slowly withering away. Eddie embraces Dylan, who is still in a state of immense fear from Null's mind cage. I'm still, I have a piece of him and, and I, I can feel him burning. Eddie reaches inside of Dylan's chest and tears the symbiote from his body and destroys it. Suddenly, Eddie's suit leaves his body and the God of Light speaks to him. Eddie reforms his Venom suit, reassuring Dylan not to worry, as he is heroically lifted into the air by the freed symbiotes. Venom then explains the situation to Eddie. They are speaking to you in our ancient tongue, Eddie, because you, you defeated the Void. You freed our kind. You are the hive mind now, Eddie. You are the God of the symbiotes. You are the King in Black. That's all for this dark tale. If you're interested in more symbiote-related comic stories, check out the videos on the screen. And please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Take care.